A new screening programme for babies is being trialled at Daisy Hill Hospital in Newry. The test aims to pick up congenital heart defects that wouldn't be found with routine tests. It's hoped this will double the number of cases diagnosed and could potentially save lives. David Maxwell reports. This little man is called Tony McCoy. He's no relation to the jockey, but at just a few days old, he's already in the spotlight. The reason, a heart screening test, which is now being done routinely at Daisy Hill Hospital's maternity unit. It's the first hospital here to introduce the check for all newborns. Babies all throughout Northern Ireland get all these baby tests. They get checked for their hearing, they get checked for their limbs, etc, etc. And to be honest, I've never heard of any babies dying of defective hearing, but I've heard of babies dying with an undiagnosed un uh, heart condition. And I feel that the heart should be a mandatory check. The test uses a simple, relatively inexpensive unit to detect oxygen levels in the blood. Anything above 95% is deemed OK. Below that and further tests will be carried out. At the moment, many cases of congenital heart disease aren't picked up in hospital. Two-thirds of them would have gone home healthy looking and, but still have congenital heart disease and not picked up. With this uh, new screening, we hope that we could increase the rate of pickup up to three quarters of the babies who would uh, be uh, managed early, the parent will know about it early, and the outcome will be much better. Five-year-old Terence McPollin is the picture of health now, but just days after he left hospital as a baby, he had to be taken to London for emergency surgery due to a heart defect. It was a traumatic time for his family. If that Daisy Hill had had this knee and um, before he left the hospital that evening, maybe things, the condition could have been picked up and, you know, things could have been done a lot quicker. This pilot screening programme will run until next September. After that, it's hoped it will be rolled out across the trust. David Maxwell, BBC Newsline at Daisy Hill Hospital.